Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox and today we have a little bit of a different video. Young man from Tehachapi. What is this site right here? Last year his company brought in about $130,000. Super incredibly amazingly for Panda Express orange chicken sauce. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this just as much as some of my usual content. We are not particularly crafting or making over or transforming a space today, but we are going to be looking at old videos I've uploaded all the way back from 2010 of my bedrooms, literally in middle school, high school, dorm rooms, my first Los Angeles apartments. I have so much content filmed on older channels. I've actually been a content creator here on YouTube for probably about 10 years. Like my first ever channel was started back in 2010, I believe. And I did that channel for four or five years and it was actually a crafting scrapbooking channel. And then I moved on to a fashion channel and now we are in my Lone Fox phase, which is my absolute favorite one. I am obsessed with Lone Fox. Today we are going to go back on some of my older channels and actually look at some of my bedrooms and kind of react and like check them out because I have not looked at these videos in years and years and years. And I love that I actually documented this content because we can literally go to my old channels, pull up my old bedrooms, and watch them together. So I figured this would be kind of fun and a little bit of a change from my last couple videos, which were super intensive. If you have not checked them out, I did a makeover on my roommate's bedroom, and there is part one and part two. I'll put them on the screen for you guys. Don't forget to check these out. They were incredible videos, and I loved the way they turned out, and I think you guys did as well. But today, we might not be encountering such pretty spaces. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my first ever room tour in video and we are going to watch it together and just see what happens. Hi guys, it's Drew here at Carl and I hope you can see me. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a room tour video today and that's because I just got done filming for the news, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you guys, you probably watched my last couple videos. So if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about when I mentioned that I was filming for the news, um, who was it? It was the Inqu National Enquirer had reached out to me and asked if they could do an interview on me because I had started an Etsy store. A young man from Tehachapi is using his creativity and self-taught skills to help people People all over the world. Through his own company, old photo albums are being spruced up and it's preserving personal history. That's right, Amanda, and it all starts where a, a place where most teenagers spend a lot of their time, and that's the internet, where one click has turned a hobby into a six figure business. Drew Scott is a regular teenager who enjoys spending time with friends, family, and his dog Ozzy. But what he enjoys the most is scrapbooking. I just personally like how artistic it is, I guess you could say, just because I really enjoy uh, doing art. So it's sort of a form of art and a, sort of a form of like graphics in a way. Scott developed all his skills through online videos at the age of 13. Scott's scrapbooking videos catches a lot of attention with more than 9,000 subscribers and 1.5 million views and an opportunity he couldn't ignore. Last year, his company brought in about $130,000, which he uses to reinvest back into the business. His aunt handles shipping and his mom deals with customer service. Now, Drew Scott plans to graduate from Tehachapi High School in the spring, and he recently was accepted at the Fashion Institute Design and Merchandising in downtown Los Angeles. So, good luck to him. And I was like 18 at the time, I think, or 17. I was 17 when this was filmed. And I actually turned my Etsy store into a six figure business for me and my mom when I was 17. Like, it was crazy. And they put me in the National Enquirer as teenager turned scrapbooking business into six figure business. But it was actually like me selling jewelry supplies and charms and stuff on my store which I've never really talked about um my mom actually still has a store it is called hopscotch craft supplies so if you guys are ever in the market for any jewelry supplies anything related to like jewelry crafting or such you guys have to check out her store I will link it below for you it's actually linked into my bio on every single video for you guys but I clean my room super incredibly amazingly for this uh... super incredibly amazingly the news, so I just wanted to share it with you since it's really clean right now. So I love uh, it when it's good. clean. My bed's out of it and everything, so it's like a perfect time to do oh, this. Oh yeah, and when I said my bed was out of it, that is because I had so much stuff in my room. I had a mattress in the center of the floor, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's my room. Here's the door. That's where I enter my room. So that's where I my, love my where room I door enter enters. And I don't even know. That's like a blind thingy. Uh, first, I'm gonna do a full pan. So this is what oh, my room looks okay. like. Oh, okay. Okay. This. Here we go. It's that's my workstation now. It goes all the way around. Oh, over here. Do you see all that more storage? storage there? Super awesome. And then here is my closet. Oh my, my god! Kind of first thoughts on the space, like. 
I had so many of those little storage thingies. Like, I'm gonna try to zoom back a little bit. Like, the amount of storage containers I had in this space was crazy. I think I, I actually ended up buying these from Home Depot. I saved up like $1,000 that I had made from my YouTube AdSense, which was over the course of, I swear to you, those three years, like, I had made $1,000. And I thought I had to be 18 to take it out of my account, which I didn't have to be. So it just kept accumulating, which was nice, though, because then I had a lump sum of $1,000, which I spent on all of these storage boxes and I bought them from Home Depot. I assembled them all myself. My dad helped me cut down at melamine boards to put on top of my workstation. So it was like melamine boards going all the way around. All of them. So starting over here, here is my dress form. It is actually uh, a dress form I got at a garage sale for like $10 and I have my Tim Holtz signed apron on it. There's Tim Oh Holtz my gosh, here. Tim Holtz was literally everything to me. Like I still love him. He still has products I actually use in my crafting today. But but he was like the a male scrapbooker that I looked up to so much. I was obsessed with him. Um, and I got a signed apron at a convention that I went to. And I was like, this is iconic. It's I actually still have the signed apron. Sort of three shelving system sort of thing. Those had like my finished projects inside of it. I sorted those all in there. But let's kind of zoom along and see. Oh my gosh, this photo. Hate that eye. The other eye looks good though. Um, I did that as a canvas, and then I have a couple of just projects that I've done up there as well. And a candy jar I painted, and moving over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, right. so to clarify what all of this stuff is, basically in that wooden box stand to the left, that had all of my ink pads in it for like stamping. So I would stamp things. And then to the right of that, those were all my sprays. So they basically were like shimmery mists that I would spray on projects. And then um, in the boxes in front, I believe the Pepsi box, which I still own to this day actually, has a ton of embellishments in it. And then the little like wicker one to the left had all of my stamps in it. So those were like all of my stamps in front of the stamp pads. And up here is another pegboard that I just keep miscellaneous products on. These are from all assorted companies. Oh my gosh, that looks so much fun. I want all those again. One in particular, like my other one, which has all the Prima. Okay, I was like good at scrapbooking. Like, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Like, I was kind of good. I popped off. So much better. Look at how awesome these projects look in these frames. I just love them. Is my little lace rack or my ribbon rack. I have all of these seam bindings, which are sorted in rainbow fashion. Seam binding was like so trendy when I was doing scrapbooking because it was very like shabby chic, that whole aesthetic. So I had every single color of seam binding. It's just a really nice crafty sort of a thing. And oh, the birdhouse are cute. Two bird cages that I picked up at Ross and they have mini albums in them. That was actually my first Live with Prima class. That oh, that, when I said Live with Prima, that was like, like I would literally do live streams every single Thursday for Prima. This is just when I just creepy tape in that bowl in those two containers. Projects are down in this one. And then uh, there's my craft tool. And then these are all punches. That's, the pink one has all Tim Holtz products in it. And then like going over here, I have my Big Shot machine, my Floss, and my So Easy. And then these are some of my- You guys, embroidery. I had every single bin filled. Like I had so much scrapbooking stuff. And keep in mind, this was all to make paper items. Like this is, I had a full room dedicated to making paper items. And then if you guys remember the open space in the middle on the floor, I would put my mattress there and sleep on top of it. There's projects in it, projects projects up here this is like sort of personal projects things. everywhere i don't have any place to put my sort of accessories so i have them on here and then my cologne and then retainer. that's sort of my one personal section of the whole room and my watch case for my watch so that is my room you guys i hope you enjoyed Let me and i don't know camera. i don't know if you guys were able to notice but my room was painted chocolate brown and olive green and it had all those colors in it as well that is I thought chocolate brown and olive green was like the best. I was like, oh my God, I want to do it like that. And I was telling my mom, I remember clearly telling my mom, we went to Ross and I was like, I want to get some floating shelves for my wall and I want to put bowls on them like they do in the magazines. And I want to like get this wall macrame piece that I was obsessed with, but it was like too expensive. And I had a sleigh bed in my room, like a full on wooden sleigh bed we got off Craigslist. And then when I started scrapbooking, I moved everything out and just turned it into a full on crafting room. So that was my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that little room tour i don't know honestly my skin looks kind of good here i wish i still had that i just wanted to update you guys not much has changed <gasps> actually quite do you see those buckets of nutella in the back there oh my gosh what was i doing with those a bit has changed since my last video don't forget to check it out the link is in the down bar below hi everyone it's drew here at carter my eye and oh what is this site right here that is a lot of stuff
Oh my gosh. So now apparently I brought my drawer units around the entire room instead of having a little bit of space. I brought them around the entire room and I brought my desk back into the middle, which I told everyone I took away prior. Oh my God. Updated scrapbook room tour. As you can see, it has been quite a while since I've done one and my room has grown quite a bit. So I'm going to turn to the right here and we're just gonna get started right over on the right side of my room. Pen Express um, sauce. Right here, so Sometimes you realize like watching these videos, like how easy like your life was, you know? Like, oh, I just need to put this calculator in my backpack for school. But now it's literally like, oh, I need to hire an accountant to do my taxes so I can pay the government $87,000. Not actually, though, but, you know, maybe one day I'll have to pay them that much money. Panda Express orange chicken sauce, because if I left it downstairs, everyone would have eaten it, and oh. I need to leave it up here, so that way I can eat it. See how smart I am? And do you see that? Look at the chunk taken out of the wall. I'm trying to hide it by this thing. That was actually for my guillotine trimmer, and I just My guillotine trimmer! It. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just came up with this. So that is that area, and I hope I'm not going too fast, you guys. This is my desk. It actually pops out of, um pops out of over here those are just some layouts that i have so the reason that i ended up actually adding that desk there was because i started to do a lot more work for scrapbook brands and i needed to do overhead filming and where my old desk unit used to be i remember against the wall i couldn't get my camera to film overhead like against the wall there so i actually ended up needing to have the tripod on one side of the desk and then have myself sitting on the other side of the desk all right guys i think we are honestly good with my high school rooms like my scrapbook spaces because we do have one more room which i'm going to show you which is my first ever dorm room this is the like basically the room that i first moved into right out of school so right after i moved out of that bedroom i moved immediately into here let me actually see when this video was posted this that one was posted january 11th of 2012 i ended up moving out july 5th of 2013 i literally remember the exact date okay so i found it this was posted july 22nd of 2013 so i had only been living here for probably about 15 days hey guys it is drew here and i am doing a dorm room tour as many of you know i actually just moved out of my house and i'm in my new dorm room it's actually an apartment it's not really a dorm room it's called fitum housing which is basically like okay to give you a preface to basically see what you're seeing right now on the screen i was obsessed with lana del rey i still really like her music a lot in 2013 when i filmed this like i was so obsessed with lana del rey americana antlers boho you know that whole aesthetic that was in back then and also keep in mind i was sharing this room with someone else so i didn't really show the other side of the room but we had to share the space apartment complex so it's not actually on campus dorm let's this from this but i'm gonna show you it to you guys it's not completely done i have a couple more decorations that i want to add to it but um it's, it's a majority cute. of the way something design. else i don't know if you guys are gonna pick up on or notice is that if you look out the window and through like the bush i lived on the freeway i lived on the busiest freeway in los angeles and uh, my apartment was literally parallel like with cars like they were speeding past my window at night like I don't know how I did it. I lived here for three months because I basically moved to LA not having any friends. I didn't know anybody. So I wanted to do student housing for at least the first quarter so I could meet people, which then I could potentially move out with. This is my half. I have my headphones, water bottle, um, my watch, which I don't know why it's hanging up there. It actually needs to go into the other spot. And there's a picture of me and Jordana from Project Runway. Oh, I went to school as a fashion major, by the way, guys. I just have a couple candles back there, and I actually am not even sure if I'm allowed to have those. But oh, I don't think well. it was. Um, here are antlers. We're not allowed to put anything on the walls. So yeah, they wouldn't let us put anything on the walls. They said if you put anything on the walls, like you're being charged the most. We couldn't put nails up. We couldn't put poster tack up. They let us put nothing on the walls. And I have a little glass terrarium hanging that actually has a bone in it that I found at a railroad track, and I covered it in a glaze. So it I found a bone on a railroad track and covered it in a glaze, which I put in a terrarium. And then um, above that, I have these little stickers that say, we are living our adventure. I wasn't allowed to put those up, but I did. They're just um, like little wall decals. So they peel off extremely easily. They're not $10. And I just love the way that Some they Some light to add an ambiance. And then I have a vintage American flag. It's not vintage. It's just used. It is really, really cool. Um, it, I did not rip this, you guys. I don't think I ripped it myself. It's it's been in the wind for quite a long time, so it's been put to good use. But I just I didn't want to sell. I didn't want to just. Rip. Basically, my neighbor had that, and she was going to get a new American flag, and I just wanted it because I thought that the ed, the frayed edge was like very Americana Lana Del Rey vibe. Over here, we have our computers. That's my roommate's computer right there, and this is mine right oh. here. So. Oh. 
We shared a big, we shared a small desk for our big computers. Computers. And then over here is a dresser. I, I have the top drawer of the dresser and then this side and he has those two drawers. I don't have many foldable items. And then I have this little compartment that I brought. And you guys, I, I remember moving into this apartment and me and my roommate Austin, like we, ha so it was two bedroom apartments. There's two people living in one room and me and Austin living in one room. And me and Austin had like, eight billion pieces of clothing like i'm not joking you eight billion pieces each and they had like six pieces so they had like a walk-in closet we both did but austin and i's closet was jam packed like we had the most stuff in it ever and they had like one item in their closet and so we tried to maximize our storage space the most i don't know if i can see you guys can i see you come over and say hi look i still have that uh globe that i got at a thrift store So that was my room tour, my apart or my fit I'm housing room tour. So you guys can see what you my can room see looks the cars like. driving and by on the freeway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Oh my gosh, you guys! So guys, those were my old rooms. Those were literally my rooms from ten years ago, eight years ago, and seven years ago. Like I documented them on my channel, and I figured that it would be kind of fun to just react to them here and share them with you guys as well, because a lot of you guys probably think that maybe I've had a pretty room my whole life, or like I lived a different way, or whatever it might be. Uh, but just to share with you, like those were my my old spaces and I made them work for what I love to do and that was in my my fit one was all clothing like I love clothing I had all my clothing organized it was all there for me and of course when I lived back at my parents house it was all about scrapbooking and crafting and just like creating items and things which is currently what I do now so I hope that you guys enjoyed that video and if you guys did like that video please let me know if I should do more of them because I actually have like my apartment after I lived at fit and then I have the apartment I lived after that one I have the apartment I lived after that one and one more like I literally literally have like four more apartment tours I could react to here on my channel which you guys probably haven't seen before so if you'd like to see those let me know in the comment section below but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go I hope that you enjoyed this video and it was kind of like just a fun casual carefree video for you guys um but stay safe everybody and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day do not forget to subscribe to my channel for a brand new home decor and DIY content every single week and I will catch you in my next one bye guys